Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, March. I keep wanting to say February for some reason. I, I think I just, just didn't believe it's already in March. Third quarter, or first quarter is about, about done. It's crazy. Well, we've got the month, but still, two months are gone already. March 5th, 2022, and I am in. Is there something on the back of this? Faith in Christ can help you resolve personal and family challenges. Absolutely. I'm in Morning with Jesus 2022. It's still morning. Yesterday I had to do an afternoon one, almost evening. Oh Lord, you hear the desire of the afflicted. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, so that man who is of the earth may strike terror no more. Psalm 10, verses 17 through 18. One of my friends told me today that she has cancer. She was already on my prayer list because her husband had been recently diagnosed with dementia. When I heard my friend's news, my heart sank, and I prayed, Lord, it's too much. And, and if you haven't saw a previous video, if I start rocking, it's just creating positive energy for me. I have, I have felt that in this world of negativity, I can feel the negative energy. People can feel my positive energy. I've been rocking my whole life. My, my parents had to rock me for hours and they'd stop and I'd start crying. It's something that has always comforted me ever since I came out of the womb. I don't know if my mom rocked constantly, I have no clue. We have zero contact. She made that perfectly clear when I was there for Mother's Day last year that she didn't want me in her life pretty much once a week later. So that's okay. So I don't, I don't, I don't need to know. I just know that if I rock this way, I, I'm creating more of my positive energy. And, um, oh, interesting. I must have lost one of my armbands when I was sleeping last night. That's an interesting thing, too, because I had these necklaces were all tangled up, too. I had to take them off to re-untangle them. So the fact that my bracelet's not on my wrist, I don't know, but I wear EMF bracelets to help with that. And then if for some reason I'm not tired enough to fall asleep, I'll rock this way to calm my body down, and I don't have to do it very, very long at all. So I don't know what, if you've ever tried that method, but when, when I've been around somebody that's got a lot of negative energy, I start rocking forward, and it's amazing how it clears the air. It's, I can't explain it, but, but just that way. Try it for yourself. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but for me it works great. Um, so when she heard her friend's news about having cancer, her heart sank and she prayed, Lord, it's too much. I offered her what comfort I could, love and compassion and support of her adamant trust that Jesus was walking this road with her, but I longed to be able to do more than comfort. As I floundered in my helplessness to solve my friend's problems, this psalm reminded me that Jesus is never helpless. Those verses reflect the Savior who acts. He hears, he comforts, but he doesn't stop with a hug and a whispered word of reassurance. He does justice on behalf of those who are hurting. I treasure the fact that Jesus hears our cries and strengthens our hearts with his comfort. Returning to my prayers, I thank Jesus with new comfort conviction that he is at work on my friend's behalf. For some of the trials that confront us, he conquers quickly. Others ultimately will be conquered in eternity, but we can face each day knowing he hears, consoles, and acts. Sharon Hink, that was beautiful. Thank you for that lovely devotion. Now here's the faith step. I love this little book because it starts with a prayer. It has a a writer that writes the devotion and then the faith step. It's like everything good happens in threes. Think of a friend who is afflicted today and cry out to Jesus on her behalf knowing he is taking action for her. How about you pray for her to heal or him? Whatever diagnosis they were given by man, how about you pray for them to live? Just like the lifespan that man attached to animals. They've done enough research of all the chemicals they've pumped in the foods and tell, tell them that they need to have heartworm, they need to have this, that, and the other.
We don't need what they're telling us. You need to rely on the Bible. That is what's going to save your life. And I'm living proof because on January 30th, I listened. I finally, it's finally registered. God heals. List your demons and cast them out. So, hope you enjoyed my video. Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Bye. Love you.